Go to w.gg and use code NOCHOICEGV for 10% off any order. No artificial colors, no fillers, zero calories, and zero sugar. Use code NOCHOICEGV, that's N-O-C-H-O-I-C-E-G-V, at checkout for 10% off. Thank you, W, for sponsoring this video. Six day times. Two. Digital root. Three. Oh, oh my buddy, my hammer. That makes sense. <laughs> the Duke. And we're playing 999 again today. Yeah, last time. Where's Jinzu? <laughs> it didn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. My calculator's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> Hi, Jinzu. But we're continuing on with the story. Hey, Jinpei, say your line. Hey, hold on, Clover, wait. The words were barely out of her mouth when she began to run. Junpei cried out to her, but to, but he was too slow. Damn it, why do I have to be too slow? Uh, <laughs> she kept going, and before anyone else could react, she was gone. Because the blind guy was literally like, Okay, everybody, go search these rooms. And then they just came back. And he didn't. And he didn't. And he's blind. <laughs> and they left the blind man alone. <laughs> first death. First death. Oh, no, it can't be the blind guy. The first death was the, Damn the, it. the ninth guy. Yeah. First important death. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say the same <laughs> thing. Damn it. What should we do now? Yay. Well, the red is working now. No, we're not leaving two people behind. We should go look for them. No, I vote we just leave. Oh man, this just ain't this, this just ain't good. Look at his hair. Yeah. Look at my fine mane of hair. Look at his ten head. <laughs> Went whole plane on the bitch. Ah yes, what an excellent idea. We just wasted a bunch of time looking for some fucking piece of junk. Electronic junk. Now let's waste some more time by looking for a couple of idiots. <laughs> Uh, uh, remain here if you feel you must, but there's no time. Let's move the fed to the <laughs> Yeah, we need to move it. I got five hours left! Shit! You klutz. You fucking klutz. My drink! It's fine. You doobie. I doobie doobie doob, I doobie doobie. We've only got five hours left! Junpei and the others nodded to one another and took off at a run. Wow. We're back here. In front of the stairs that led to B deck, they decided to split up. They quickly assigned search areas and went their separate ways. Soon only two of them were left. Those two were Junpei and Jun. God damn it. <laughs> I, just, I hate her so much. Every time that like a character just pops in, I really want to just edit in the, the instant transmission sound. <laughs> But it's too is, is slow. It, is it the the shoom or the pop? The, the shoom. Got out the pop. No. no, no. <laughs> I found I found a, a sound clip for fairy glitter. <laughs> what? <laughs> like where is this going? <laughs> oh oh like a gleam. Like, yeah yeah. So you could just you could just fucking have that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, anytime she comes on screen, and then have glitter has, like, fly on the screen. Noise. Yeah, <laughs> one has a swing, one has a like a she thing of a sword. Someone can have the metal pipe dropping. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> <laughs> one of them shape. One of them they pop up and it goes. Wah, wah, wah. And yes, <laughs> one of them is a death. <laughs> <laughs> no, and one of them can be the. <laughs> when uh, when uh. Oh, what's her name? Lotus uh, pops up. Wow! <laughs> uh, no, 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 don't do that one. no. Instead, the uh, boing, boing, boing. that SpongeBob noise pops in. The fucking uh, ship going. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> All right, those two were Junpei and Jun, who had been a few steps behind the others. All right, we should go too. Yes. His, his New York accent anymore? Let's go. But where should we start? Let's see. There you go. The casino, the first class cabin, the hallway with all the rooms. Back to the large hospital room. Back to the large hospital room. We were just in there. He wasn't there. No, he's totally in there now. No. We walked out of the room <laughs> and the blind guy 
definitely was not there. All right. Okay, we should all vote on this. We should all vote. Everyone gets an equal Flip vote. Flip a coin three times. <laughs> I vote back to the large hospital room. Well, that gets vetoed. All right, Jinzu, you and I get to choose. Illegal! <laughs> Uh, cause I would say the hallway with all the rooms literally. Wait, wait, what are we doing? We're we looking for. We're looking guy? for snake. We're looking for snake. Yeah. Oh, I want to make a Metal Gear joke, but I can't. Okay. Uh... Snake. <laughs> Maybe the loud casino. That he do hallway with all the rooms. Yeah. Man. <laughs> we should go check out the hallway with all the rooms. Okay, let's go jumping. They turned and ran down the hallway to the left. Oh shit. Thank you. <laughs> Ahead of them, farther down the hallway, they spotted Ace. Hey! Snake! Where are you? Answer me if you're there. Two papers. What did he want to do? Run to Ace. Let Ace handle it. <laughs> yeah, let Ace handle it. He's no, let's it. go to Ace. He's got it. No, I want to be. I want to voice the funny old man. With June in tow, Junpei jogged up to Ace. Hearing their footsteps, he turned to greet them. Ah, hello there. Hello there. Oh. General <laughs> Hello there. Snack is. Well, that's obvious, isn't it? I assume you haven't found him yet either. Jupay nodded. I really wonder where he could have gone. Oh, well. He disappeared, too. We must find him as quickly as we can. For Clover's sake. Right. June's face looked kind of enraptured. By the way... Oh, Jupe. By the way, do you think Clover and Snake are really siblings? Ah, uh, how would you say that? How would you say that? The question seems somehow odd to Jupe. Why? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? They said it. <laughs> they don't look at, like at all. Oh my god, look at Ace's just deadpan stare and then the occasional blink. <laughs> I would love it if his blinks were just out of pace just by, like, one frame. So it's just like a... Yeah. <laughs> Ace looked at him for a moment and then spoke. Yes, you know. Now that you mention it, they don't. Now that you mention it... <laughs> Still, there aren't a great many siblings who don't... who do not look like one another. It certainly isn't rare. Junpei wasn't sure why. Or even if he was seeing what he thought it... what he thought he was. But he could have sworn that Ace's face tightened as he spoke. At any rate, we must find Snake as soon as possible. He's that's their a, dad. That's a, that's a weird detail. He's their dad. The clock is ticking. I'm dying soon. We can't really afford to waste any time. Uh, I'm dying well. soon. <laughs> <laughs> My time is up. Well, well, let's get back to the search, shall we? You can leave this area to me. All right. Let's go, chubby. Alright. At June's urging, they left. Moggy. <laughs> bye bye. Alright. They found themselves back at the stairs, but Junpei's mind was in turmoil. There was so much to think about, but. So much to do, so much to do. Think so, what's wrong with taking the casino route? <laughs> no. It would have to be put aside for now. As Ace had said, finding Snake was their top priority. Junpei did his best to clear his mind. Alright, where should we go next? The first class cabin. Back to the large hospital room. No, the casino. The casino? Wow, we really did choose all three <laughs> options. <laughs> Those of you at home, what should we do? <laughs> casino. The casino it is. Let's take a look around the casino. Drown. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. They turned and headed toward B deck. The B deck. <laughs> Before they do it, Bidek. they were there. Or area known for so was Lotus. <laughs> so was Lotus. Hi, Lotus. Hey. <laughs> Even the narrator. She was leaning against the wall, examining her nails. That's a door. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Now it's for you, time for you to talk to yourself, Duke. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? She glanced at him, unimpressed. It's an obvious. I'm looking for snake. T uh, underneath my nails. I'm just not seeing it. Really? Maybe you need to look harder. Junpei did not, didn't think that was the problem. Oh, by the way, I got a proposal for you two. Get to hear it? 
No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to what she has to say. Refuse and leave. Listen. Hold on. There was a room with a bunch of beds. I know what she's <laughs> suggesting. <laughs> and we only have seven hours left. What is it? We can spare 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't like to beat around the bush, so I'll get right to it. I do. <laughs> Why don't we team up? There's absolutely a three-way. The team up? Yeah. Well, you need me to explain it to you? Yes. I'm saying, why don't we go through a number door? Right now? Even if you wanted, we wanted to, that's impossible. Why? Joby's bracelet is number five, minus six, and yours is eight. Our digital rule would be one. Five plus six plus eight equals yes, 19. Yes, we understand. We saw this earlier. One plus nine equals ten. One plus zero equals one. But there's no number with number one door in the large hospital room. The only doors there are three, seven, and eight. Then we add another person. Huh? Who? Oh. What? Isn't that easy? Seven. Oh, God. I am not fucking talking to myself to talk to myself to talk to myself. No! <laughs> and literally no Jinzu at all. Fuck <laughs> you! <laughs> she was right. If they added seven, five plus eight plus seven, uh, 26... 2 plus 6 equals 8. Then the four of them could go through the number 8 door. Whoa! Whoa, hold on a second. I actually agree with you, Duke. What about the other four? What about them? <laughs> Why don't you add them up? That was simple enough. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 10. Ah, the 1. The digital root for those four would be 1. But yeah, so they would be left behind. That's right. And you know the number one door isn't the big hospital room, right? Of course I know that. No! Are you saying you'd leave them behind? Of course not. What kind of woman would you think I am? The hot one? I mean, uh... <laughs> woman with big titties. Once we get off the ship, we could come back and rescue them, couldn't we? Then we wouldn't really be leaving them behind. That's not how this works. Don't try to lie to us. I don't think you'll do anything of the sort. Really? Why do you think that? You remember, don't you? We have less than five hours left. Even if we manage to escape. God, this, like, forward facing of June, that does not do her justice. <laughs> like, does it does her a dis disservice. I'm confused. Her five head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've got the comparison of two girls right here. Oh, She's got a lot of room of brain. <laughs> you can blend a plane on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the runway is on her head, and the runway is on her tits. <laughs> Shame. Even Shame this man. Yeah, nah. <laughs> no, that's what he wants. You think I have any left? <laughs> Don't do it. It's what he wants you to do. Yes! He's, yes! he's wearing the shirt. Don't bully me. I'll... Yes! <laughs> Even if we manage to escape... There's no way we would come back to rescue them in less than five hours. Well, you never know until you try. No, no. You're not thinking this through. Even if we brought Seven with us, we wouldn't be able to get off the ship. Four of us couldn't open door nine. Ah. Uh, zero. Zero. It is hidden. No. Not an exit can be found. Let Jinzo take another voice. Yeah. <laughs> The door is hidden. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Shut up. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. I was just thinking of, like, what is the most, like, totally not zero sounding voice? <laughs> it's zero, not 7 Eleven. <laughs> Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. That doesn't help. Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. This is your rule. This four would be eight. So we have it. I have to add Ace to make nine. Right. Unless we bring Ace too, we'll be stuck. Lotus scratched the back of her ear. That's not she <laughs> she missed horrifically. <laughs> she, she fucking missed. It hurt itself in its confusion. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. She didn't sound particularly bothered by what Jupe said. 
nor did she seem particularly surprised. Hmm. Well, let's try to find another way, okay? A way to get out of here with all eight of us. That's impossible. Are you being serious? No. We do know that only five people at most can go through one of the number doors, right? Number nine isn't going to be an exception to that rule. Shows how you don't understand math. With the power of math, we'll all survive, guys. <laughs> yeah. Regardless, at least three people will get left behind. <laughs> You're right. That is true. You're right. That is true. Oh, shit. That's Jupe. God, God damn it. Why is June and Jupe literally right after the other? <laughs> Why is a love interest named June? <laughs> the moment he said it, Jupe felt the chill run down his spine. It was true. How Lotus could remain cavalier about so terrifying a prospect was beyond him. When they found the number nine, they would have to choose which three of them would die. Lotus's forehead furrowed. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you think I could have a moment alone? There are some things I need to think about. Hmm. Hmm. So she just wants us to betray him. Junpei and Jun turned and began walking away from Lotus. Talking to her had left them feeling ill. Junpei's heart felt heavy, his knees weak, mom's uh, spaghetti, and his steps sluggish. <laughs> but he told himself a pessimism would get them nowhere. So he forced himself to smile and turn to Jun. Let's just focus on finding Snake for now, okay? I just really want, like, whenever somebody finds snake and like everybody i found him there's just the the red explanation points <laughs> <laughs> yes you're right we can think about those other things later junpei nodded all right where should we go next uh let's go well what is this the hallway with all the rooms oh okay back to the large hospital room no, 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 no. that's right duke the first class cabin <laughs> Let's go take We're a look get at the first class ending, <laughs> We're gonna get, get the I was joking the whole time, guys. <laughs> get the mummy curse ending. I said my line. We get the we get the the stockbroker ending. <laughs> the stockbroker oh. telepathy Bitcoin curse, ending. Curse of the mummy <laughs> coin. <laughs> it's Dogecoin to the, the moon the ending. Dogecoin ending. They turned around and took took off down the hallway to their left. Let's go. Outside of the first class cabin, they found Clover. She was standing in front of the wall. She was staring at a meaningless point on the wall. Her eyes blink. She has really small hands. What should she's, Junpei do? She's like, <laughs> <laughs> you have really small hands. <laughs> now you really don't have small hands. hands anymore. <laughs> Talk to her. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Talk to her. That's not my problem. Oh. <laughs> no, Jizu. Are you all right? He did his best to sound friendly, but Clover didn't respond. Look, I know you're... Uh, what was the voice? Uh, fuck it. I know uh, you're really... <laughs> I forgot well, it I unless you were speaking. Really worried, but, uh... <laughs> what the fuck? He could think of no words to say that didn't sound hollow and fake. <laughs> Junpei hesitated. What was my voice? <laughs> <laughs> Clover was so consumed by worry and fear that Junpei feared it would crush her. Good. Her actions didn't surprise him. She had suddenly lost her brother, who it seemed to have been very close to. Leon. Her voice was thin and barely audible. Leon. Uh. Leon. Huh? I said leave me alone. <laughs> hey Jitsu, you want to do the Scottish or the Irish accent for Clover now? No. Help. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, can you give me a starter with, like, an Irish accent? Irish accent? Yeah. Me lucky charm. Me lucky charms. If you could change your fate. Would you? I said no, leave me alone. Fucking... It's close <laughs> enough, laddie. <laughs> I said not. Just... No, Jinsu. I like a closer just... than anything no, that no, I was no, doing. No, 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 Jinsu. Aren't they just exactly the same? They're exactly the same. There was not a war fought over this, was there? I, that's what the government tells me. <laughs> it's like they're the same with the British, right? That said, leave it's me alone. The uh, kingdom. If you see a red <laughs> dot on my forehead, it's because I'm about to be shot. 
by the Scots. Or your Indian. And the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly she was screaming. Or your betrothed for marriage. <laughs> Uh, you're so annoying! Just go away and leave me alone! Just looking at you guys is pissing me off! Go away, okay? Just go somewhere else! Stop bothering me! I know I'm, I'm not. I'm just doing a boy. Junpei was taken aback. Such anger and hate. June's eyes had got wide with surprise as well. See, anger and hate. That's a Scottish. <laughs> Why are you still here? <laughs> Didn't you hear me? Lottie? Maybe if I scream louder, it'll work. Fine! Forget it. If you aren't gonna live, then just... Alright. Let's go, June. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they turned and left Clover. As they did, Junpei glanced over his shoulder to see Clover wiping tears from her face. What a bitch. <laughs> she heard that and proceeded to run after you guys with a baseball bat. <laughs> I'll cleave your eyes in Twix. Clover had, driven, <laughs> Clover had driven home the misery of the situation, but Junpei told himself that getting depressed would get him nowhere but depressed. <laughs> For Clover's sake, they had to find Snake, and fast. He did his best to push away the misery and depression and forced a smile. Jesus! So where do you think we should go next? Wait, what? I guess I guess we do have to go back to the large hospital. Oh, mm. uh, it's almost like you took a drink of water, so you weren't able to to. His... Yeah! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's probably the best idea. Together they ran down the stairs. This sure is the room. It turns out he's been laying on like a corner bed the entire time. <laughs> on the way to the large hospital room, Junpei and June noticed Santa standing next to the number three door. Junpei paused. What should Junpei do? Walk away without saying anything. Talk to him! Hey, Jojo! Welcome oh, back! Oh boy, I get to be sarcastic asshole. All Yay. three of us get to talk now. Junpei and June walked up to Santa. What are you doing? <laughs> What, you can't tell? I'm formulating stockbroker plans. <laughs> I was hoping everybody would leave when I did this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking out the red. What? Is there something bothering you? Don't worry, I'm joking it. I'm making new numbers. <laughs> Ignore the color. I just have diseases. <laughs> they don't call me Santa for nothing. I'm what, red and white. It's not bothering you? Oh. <laughs> this the guts of this red oh why wouldn't you wonder who the hell put it back here yeah that's true well i'm curious too but who do you think it did it i don't who Sen did who did it do he would said his eyes narrowed as he looked at june she shook her head i don't know well what about you junpei uh. who do you think <laughs> 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 What do you think, Junpei? <laughs> I was so thankful. I could tell that I was about to have to talk. <laughs> and so I was like, come on, come on, come on! Burp! Do we think it's Snake? Do we think it was Lois? Do we think it's Zero? Some, someone other than the eight of them? Yeah, probably Snake. Do you think it's Snake? Yeah, it's probably Snake. Let's say Snake! No He's dead. Way. And they go, what is, what? A python coming in and putting it in? Well, there was this one time where... <laughs> <laughs> if that happens, I'm gonna lose it. Yeah, let's, okay, let's just say Snake. Well, it seems like it would have to be Snake, wouldn't it? Maybe he got back here before any of us. He found the pot somewhere, but... Boy, put him back. <laughs> I thought it was a boy. <laughs> that was a boy. I got butt on mine. Put him back and then went through one of the number doors. No, that's not possible. <laughs> Stupid. You have to authenticate with at least three people or the red won't open the door. I like how it was like the possibility of like mentioning Snake and then Junpei just completely <laughs> said the wrong thing that makes everybody go, No, that can't be it. You stupid. <laughs> There's no way a single person could get through here by themselves. Yeah, uh, I guess you're right. Uh, 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 
It was a stupid mistake, and Junpei knew it. <laughs> Whoever picked that is an idiot. <laughs> how had he made such a foolish miscalculation? And how had Santa noticed it so quickly? Perhaps he just wasn't as clever as he used to be. Junpei shook his head sadly. <laughs> Junpei shook his head sadly. So in I'm other words, I'm an idiot. I'm right in front of June too. <laughs> so in other words, it was you, you motherfucker. One of us is the person who fi fixed the red. Santa grinned. Bingo. Was his name? Oh, what is this like side profile of Santa? Why does it look off? He looks off to me. What do you mean? His face. Why? He's like it's like when you've looked at someone. Like this all your life, and then all of a sudden they go. Well, you talk about uh, Akilah's emo face over here. Yeah, it looks. Like, uh... Why would you do that? Because I forgot. We have a winner. Yay! But if that's true, then the person who did it doesn't want the rest of us to know. What? They fixed the red. <laughs> and Junpei just goes like, "What?" And like, maybe it was one of us. Like, maybe June did it. <laughs> <laughs> Super Talking! Yeah. But why? No Man. idea. Maybe if they come clean on that, it means we'd find something else. Something bad. Some bad. Something bad. <laughs> Dunno. But whatever it is, it's gotta be worth hiding. Hmm. Of course it could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. See, now you he's think maybe they career. did something to him? I thought he would have like Vegeta hair or something like that. Not like this, like not shitty Kakashi hair. Bed hair. <laughs> yeah. He looks like he's got. He looks like a. What, what's the name of the character from Akira who gets the psychic powers? Canada. No. Oh. No, that's the guy. That that's the guy who fights. Him. I'm asking you, cause I don't remember. Do you think I remember? No, I'm asking that one right there because he remembers names and then looks at us judgingly. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wrong! <laughs> uh, Ta Taka. Oh, yeah, it was... um. Taco. Bushi. I'm looking at you very judgingly. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's looking at me judgingly. What could have caused this? <laughs> <laughs> I actually forgot it was like Takado or something or Takada. Man, you failed at your one job. Fuck ta you. Ta ta <laughs> Tanako ta Takado ta Tanago Tanaka? Tanado 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 No. Akira cast uh, characters. Akira characters. Tetsuo. Tetsuo. That's like exactly what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, read your line! It was Tetsuo in Canada. So anyway, Canada. I'm saying he looks like Tetsuo. Tetsuo. With, uh. But with white hair. Hey, Santa, mm. is it in the question? No. Is it out of the question? No, he's about to look at you judgingly. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's the fucking pen and stare. <laughs> 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 it's, it's, the fucking, it's the fucking the mixed Scrooge face that Jim Carrey <laughs> makes. <laughs> The kind of day that leads to. <laughs> <laughs> also, mix Scrooge. It's just Scrooge. Real, real quick, it's just Scrooge. Like... Are you mixing it up with Scrooge McDuck? No. <laughs> you there? What day is it? You know. Why today? Today's Christmas Day. Santa. No bah humbug. <laughs> so anyway. It's not out of the quiz. <laughs> Jupe stared at Santa. It is Christmas Day. There was something about yeah, him that. The <laughs> <laughs> there was something about him that made Junpei wary. At first, he'd assumed the other man wasn't terribly clever, but Junpei was beginning to rethink that he would need to reevaluate that assessment. <laughs> what the fuck? I <laughs> thought he was stupid, but maybe no. <laughs> He, the, with the way that he played the stock market Santa, and everything. <laughs> Santa checked him so hard that he's just a genius now. Yeah. And he's going to solve the whole game for us. When Santa spoke again, his voice was quiet. Yo ho ho. <laughs> Look, if you trust anybody in this game, you're going to lose. What? You've got to be careful. Fourth wall break. Motherfuckers, they got... <laughs> 
their balls dipped in Whoa, wait. thousand ra- thousand aisle dressing. Thousand, Rhode Island. They fell in a bucket of cream. <laughs> they fell in a bucket of Rhode Island. <laughs> the person you trust the most could turn out to be the one who stabs you in the butt. I mean, back. I mean, rear. Juppie! Juppie! Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. Kill him! With that depressing situa- suggestion, he turned and quietly walked away. Junpei and Jun looked at one another and smiled awkwardly. You want to take that shower together, Freddy? <laughs> there. Where will they go next? Finish. We, we're we done. Finish searching. Yeah, we're done. We need to do a casino. We did. It was Clover. No. Yes. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. They looked everywhere with the thing you think of, but Snake was nowhere to be found. He's dead. Lotus looked around at six frustrated faces and spoke. We can't keep looking for Snake. Whatever he is, he's not here. We need to get moving. Junpei couldn't disagree with what she said. Was saying, Snake seemed to have completely disappeared. Turns out, <laughs> did we anybody check under this large box? <laughs> Someone's lifts like a fucking lamp off the off the nightstand. Snake. Dun! There was no point in wasting any more time. The others seem to be having similar the search thoughts. search is over. He must be dead. Snake? Snake! <laughs> but they stayed silent. Finally, Seven spoke. Oh, uh, we, we don't got a choice. Uh, Lotus is right. Uh, we're, we're gonna find... We're not gonna find Snake. There, there, there's a problem, though. We gotta figure out who's gonna go through which door. Yeah. <laughs> I have a proposal. I will marry you. <laughs> she walked. Yeah, back. I do. She walked back and forth across the floor, her heels clicking against the wall. She's wearing heels. There she goes. <laughs> <laughs> click clack, click clack, click clack. Finally, she stopped. Why don't we decide on one person to sacrifice? You. Yeah, for real. Sacrifice. Well, perhaps that's a bit of a harsh word, but yeah. You all figured out by now, haven't you? Can't all make it through those doors. We split into two teams of four and three people, respectively, then three people will be left behind. We split into two groups of five and two, then two will be left behind. But if we split into two groups of three and leave one person out, then only one person will be left behind. Like Snake. Be- leave Leaving him- three behind three people. Ah, 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 Jupe, 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 Jupe. Leaving behind three people with two teams of four and three. Not sure. She was right. <laughs> she was right. <laughs> not she is right. She I want I want to say not sure, but I want to also say she was right just so we could sacrifice her. No. But it's funny. Yeah, you're sure. That would be you're fun. Right. It would be hilarious. It'd be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we gonna do? Kill we her. Listen to her, or not listen to her. Kill her. Why is that not an option? Because you know, Where's because the dagger? because she suggested it. She's also got the power of hot. Man. She has two very convincing reasons. It's convincing arguments. But wait, we don't have to sacrifice anybody because Snake is already gone. So that means that he's the one person technically left behind. Not sure. <laughs> Jupei wasn't quite sure that was true. Wait a minute. <laughs> two people get left behind if we split into five and two. And one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. But if we split into four and three, then why do three people have to be left behind? Let's just run the numbers. <laughs> Let's say we go through door seven with one, four, five, six. Uh huh. Who's left over? That'd be three, seven, eight. What's the digital root of that? Nine. <laughs> exactly. Door nine isn't here, right? That means three, seven, eight won't be going anywhere. It's just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but the result will always be the same. You ran through all the calculations? I can't believe it. I went through the infinite amount, and guys, trust me on this. Yeah. 
the three that are left over can't go through any of the doors. Go ahead and calculate it if you have to. If you had time, you'll see. No. Huh? Anyway, that's how it is. Now, if we can get back to my proposal. It just like turns to Ace, who's like an old man yeah. scientist guy, and it's just like, hey, math guy, how wrong is she? Very. <laughs> <laughs> Extremely. <laughs> We only had to sacrifice one person if we split into three, three, one. When Seven spoke, his voice was strained. Then, you're saying we gotta decide who's gonna stay behind? Yeah, we do. You and I can't say this is it's logically and morally the best solution. The other six are to, uh, are to survive, and one person has to sacrifice themselves. In a realistic setting, yes, but this is a video game, so no. <laughs> Sacrifice yourself if you're gonna propose it. No! That's too cruel! What's so cruel about? I hate having to leave you behind! <laughs> <laughs> to, to just sacrifice someone like that? And what's your plan? Maybe we should sacrifice two people instead of just one. I don't wanna go down with you! That's not what I meant! We shouldn't sacrifice anyone! I told you that's impossible. Wake up to a little, 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 Wake up to reality. Black hole sun. Whoa, whoa. Man, that was like we did like three different things there. Nope. <laughs> Calm down, you two. Whoa, whoa, ladies! <laughs> Santa stepped between Lotus and June. Look, what Lotus is trying to say is that you should aim to to bring the greatest. Amount of happiness to the greatest amount of people, right? <laughs> That's stupid. All right, hope, faith, exactly. love, and luck. Exactly. That's how democracy works. We're in Japan. And for that reason, I think the only fair way to decide who will be sacrificed is to a vote. Oh. What do you think? <laughs> no. That's terrible. <laughs> Not asking you. Shut up. Jesus. <laughs> What about you, Stan? Me? Me? Well, I agree, I guess. I vote for it. <laughs> Alright, that's one vote for. Counting-wise, that's two. Seven? I can't say I agree with you, boy. We don't exactly have a choice. We don't do something wrong, right, boy? Jimmy's mom. That's you, kid. I can get one more vote and it's decide. But you go. <laughs> She's just on the bed, like bleeding out somehow. It's like, whoa! I was expecting to see like a really creepy, like close up. <laughs> Clover had moved away from the group and was sitting on one of the beds. Her whole body drooped. Junpei didn't know if she, if she'd even heard Lotus's proposal. Lotus walked over to Clover and gently laid a hand on her shoulder. Should I kill someone for you? Your brother has to be behind one of the number doors. I appreciate it, you harlot. <laughs> we searched everywhere, but we didn't find him. Doesn't that mean he has to have gone through one of them somehow? Clover slowly lifted her face. Let's go look for him again, okay? We sacrificed one person, we can go look for him. You agree with me, right? Clover you nodded agree, once. Right? That, I'm not manipulating you. Uh, uh, I, t I think uh, Lotus is manipulating him. <laughs> <laughs> I still say we sacrifice this bitch. Emotion carries. But she's going to strong arm everybody into making her go and be safe. Lotus spun around and walked towards Junpei. Now let's start a vote to... That won't be necessary! Ace had barely spoken for Lotus' entire Don't speech. Don't sacrifice yourself, man. And everyone jumped a little. Six pairs of eyes turned to look at him. He didn't seem to notice or even care. I'll stay. I just have a problem here. Set up, Clover, tell it, stupid. Hey, hey, Ace, what are you saying? No, you can't do that. No one tell me anything. June's voice shook, and she looked around desperately for someone to agree with her. A simply looked at her. Shut up! June! I'm afraid you have misunderstood me. I said I would stay, but I never said I would sacrifice myself. Huh? I trust you. Each and every one of you. I believe you'll come back for me. Oh, 
whoa, 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 that's optimistic, and there's just, and there's optimistic, and then there's just fucking nuts. And you have cashews, man! <laughs> <laughs> Those doors only go one way. You go in, you don't come out. If we go through them, you will be able to return, correct? Yeah. True. But that will not be the case once you've escaped from the ship. What? Yeah, <laughs> and then we can... Save the old man! For five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I beg you, once you've escaped, escaped, come back and rescue me. Ideally, within the time limit Zero has given us. No, that's ridiculous. There's no way... We could get back in time. Don't worry, I'll keep inventing my robot. We love wasting time. We couldn't do it. Don't worry, I'll just be here inventing my robot. Did you know the stock market? <laughs> I'm okay if you guys listen, go on without me. <laughs> listen, Ace, you gotta understand. The yen is plummeting. Uh, all the glyce, glucose, glycerin, they all froze their nuts at the there, same time. There's no amount of Bitcoin that could save you. <laughs> Finally, Junpei couldn't hold his tongue no longer. Uh, <laughs> We've only got five hours left. We don't even know where the hell we are. How on earth are we gonna find someone to come and rescue you? I don't care. Then perhaps he would prefer to... You would prefer to stay instead of me. No, I vote June. Or perhaps you would like to... What? Or Lotus. <laughs> or Lotus, either or. Or perhaps you would be willing to leave June behind. Yes. Ace's voice was dignified. And without a hint of cruelty or malice. Junpei had no rebuttal. You see? There's no other choice. Then I see where we've come to our conclusion. Go on. Don't worry yourselves about me. Go quickly. Junpei stood frozen by indecision, unable to move. Jun bit her lip so hard that Junpei feared she would break the skin. Santa stood against the wall, calm and aloof. Seven tore his beanie from his head and turned it over anxiously in his hands. Only Clover stared at Ace, with an expression Junpei was unable to decipher. Lotus's attitude, however, was different from the others. Good. <laughs> I <t> Bye! <laughs> this infuriates me. I hate characters that are pieces of shit that never get punished. How's it feel, voice in it? I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Let's accept this kind offer, then. She smiled, her eyes bright. Ace answered with a smile of his own. Good. I think this is the best for me. Perhaps I'll be able to take a nap. Perhaps it's my my age, but I, I get tired so easily these days. As he spoke, Ace lowered himself down to the floor next to one of the beds. Uh, you didn't lay on the bed? I hate this so much. There he is, laying down. From somewhere deep in the ship, Junpei suddenly heard the screeching of metal on metal. It was almost as if the ship were screaming. Would it really hold until the time limit was up? Already, D-Deck was flooded. In a sudden silence, the only sound was the sad metal wail of the ship. Unsurprisingly, it was Lotus who spoke first. Well, what are you waiting for? Uh, the next time... Uh, th for me to fucking wring your neck. Also known as the next episode. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked it, subscribe for more. We'll catch you all next time. Where, where uh, Ace is gonna die... We gotta choose. I was waiting for it to be like we uh, at the end of the episode we leave and then you just uh, like I check on. Oh God! Never mind. Wait, take me with you. I regret it. <laughs> I'm blood hungry. Wendigo's here. Snake, Snake is totally dead and someone totally killed him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye.